right? Just like example number four, we're going to be solving another motion problem. So very similar, just slightly uh, different framework here. So when is a motorboat? Ed travels 42 miles upstream at top speed and 2.1 hours. And still at his top speed, the return trip on the same spot takes only one and a half hours. Or actually 1.5 hours, yeah. Uh, find the rate of Ed's boat in still water and the rate of the current. So we want to find two things there, right? We want to um, find the water, still water, and then what's the current. So let's just go ahead and write those two things down there that we want to find. And we'll just let x equal, we want to know the um, still water. So like how fast is, uh, not just what is still water, but what is Ed traveling at in still water. Um, yeah, so it says find the rate of Ed's boat in still water. So still water rate, and then we want to know um, also the rate of the current. Okay, so those are the two things that we want to find right there. And, and just like we did for the previous problems, we want to go ahead and do a little table here. This is going to be very helpful when we are doing these things here, where we have distance is equal to rate multiplied by time. And here we have... Uh, it's still Ed, but one is going upstream, and the one's going uh, downstream. All right, cool. So let's see uh, what we do know from here. Uh, we'll read this one more time here. So Ed is traveling at 42 miles upstream at top speed in 2.1 hours. Okay, so that means I'm just going to put right here for his time. I know it's going to be 2.1 hours. Um, and then I know that on his way back down, he does it in 1.5 hours. Okay. Now check this out here. So this, this may, I'm not sure if this is kind of tricky here, but it says right here, what is his rate then going upstream? Well, look, it's going to be the boat, the boat's rate when it's steel, right? But then the current is going against him. Sometimes I'm going to go x minus y, right? So x represents the currents, or not the current, but the boat's speed at still water, right? So like how fast can the boat go at still water? But then we have to subtract the current that's going against him. Consequently, when going downstream, it's the boat speed when it's at its top speed, and then, but now it's going to get a little boosty, right? Yeah, it's going to get a little boosty from going downstream right there. Okay. All right. And uh, let's see here. And we'll use this 42 miles here in, j in just a moment. So now what is distance? Well, distance is rate multiplied by time. So really, it's the product of these two guys right here. So it's 2.1 times x minus y. And right here, uh, 1.5 times x plus y. Okay. Um, cool beans. So in, in that case, check this out right here. We actually have our two system of equations. Check this out here. We know that the, the distance right here was 42, right? That means the distance that he actually traveled, 2.1 times x minus y, that thing must be equal to 42 miles, right? Because that's what it says right here. It says that it traveled 42 miles upstream. And consequently, even when he went back down, 1.5 times x plus y, that also equals 42. Okay? So uh, now we have our system of equation right now. All right? Um, all right, cool beans. I think, I think what would make a lot of sense here, just so that to make this a, a lot easier, let's go ahead and get rid of 2.1 and 1.5 by dividing that on both sides, meaning if I divided this side by 2.1, and if I divided this one right here by 1.5 and 1.5, I'm just kind of doing two things at once here, our new equation up here is going to be something much easier to work with, which is now going to be x minus y, right, because those, those cross out, and 2.1, 
42 divided by 2.1 is going to give us 20. And then those cancel. So I get x plus y is equal to 42 divided by 1.5 is uh, 28. See there? So things are much easier to, to work with when we have these much simpler numbers there. All right, great. So let's just go ahead and combine these together. x plus x is 2x. Those cross out. Hata. And uh, we get uh, 48 right there. Okay. And then we're going to divide both sides by 2. And x is going to be 24. Well, 24 what? 24 miles per, per hour. What is x equal again? x was the, x was right here, is find the rate of Ed's boat in still water. So Ed's boat can travel 24 miles per hour without any current. I mean, just still water, no breeze, just chilling right there, 24 miles per hour. Now, what about the current, right? Well, we have an equation right there that we can use, right? We can just use the x plus y, or x minus y, I mean, I mean like it doesn't matter. So x minus y equals 20. We just plug in x for 24. 24 minus y equals 20. If I subtract 24, I get negative 4. I divide both sides by negative 1. So y equals 4, 4 miles per hour. Cool. So that means that our rate then right here was 4 miles per hour. There we go.